Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you today about these little containers. I found all these at Dollar Store and they're just plastic, but they're fantastic for foraging, for incorporating into regular toys, um, different colors of these. But I also found, I'm not sure if anybody remembers that post I made about these, they're called Great Coaster. I bought a whole bunch of different colors. Um, finally figured out how to incorporate them into a toy. So I wanted to show you some of the ones that I did today, and then we'll walk through how I did them. This one is a regular toy. Oops, here we go. I put my straw at the bottom, the straws at the bottom. I only drilled one hole for this. And then I added my chains to hang it on, on the cage. Then I added some muffin cups so I could do some, for have them do foraging in here. This will be the one we'll walk through today. I also, put one together with bracelets and bangles, which these are great because you can take any kind of plastic hooks and then you can hang stuff from here as well if you wanted. Just remember, in my opinion, you need to cover these with either some sort of straw, plastic or paper, just so they don't get their, their nose in here, excuse me, their beak in here. So then you can do whatever you want and add this to um, the flat surface of your cage or hang it up if you want it as well. What I did to start with these is I took, I don't know, eight straws and got them all uh, pulled apart. Found these, I think on eBay, they're some kind of like erector set. But they're kind of a fun little thing for them. If you can, I haven't been able to, but you can put stuff inside here. I drilled one hole. I'm going through the bottom. Then this is how it looks right here. And then I took three. These are the smaller napkins, but I took three of these and I poked a hole right here at the almost at the bottom. But this is where the fold is. So if you wanted to add pine nuts or anything to this, you can. I gotta find that fold with one hand. So here's the fold. You can make stuff in here as well, or excuse me, throw stuff in here as well. So I'm gonna put all three of these on here. And then all I'm doing is spreading them out so they cover the base. And then now we're going to start putting in our muffin cups. And you're going to fill those muffin cups the other one. Instead of the straws, I put a little bangle on here. But I filled the muffin cup pretty full. And I put two different sizes. These are the large and these are the small. I just like the diversity personally. And then I put a bead on here. Almost got it tight. Gotta clip this tail first. And then just get it nice and tight. And that's all you have to do if you wanted to add anything to it, you can. Now all of this, you can pull apart and throw food in here for them to forage. You can put stuff in between here and they have to forage through it. And even way down here, if you pull everything back, there's a lot of room to either add more items or foraging or whatever, or toys even. Um, when I purchase any item online, oh, the sellers are fantastic and they always give free stuff. These are the things I usually throw in for toys for foraging because the birds love those little things and the bird sellers, the bird toy sellers are fantastic about the free stuff. Um, that's what I have for this one. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Otherwise, you guys have a great day. Thanks.